Hey, what's up guys? This is S-Fan, and I'm here with Dracova over Curse. Uh, we've gotten a lot of requests over the past few weeks about doing some more tutorial-based videos, and we wanted to kick off the Light and How to Swing It series with a Ret Paladin PvE guide. So, the first thing we need to talk about is the spec that you want to go with. Uh, it looks like a pretty standard spec, 11 Holy, 8 Protection, 32 Ret. Um, and, and there's just really a few points that we want to mention here. I mean, holy, uh, pretty obvious. You want divine strength, increase the strength by 10% for more attack power. And, uh, you've got consecration at your 11 point talent. So that's, that's going to be a pretty big part of your DPS. Uh, you're going to use different ranks of it and whatnot, but uh, we'll get more into that later. Uh, in protection, the big thing that you need to know about is precision. Uh, increase your hit chance by 3%. So pretty big deal you know you, you want to hit eight percent and again we'll, we'll get more into stats and stuff later but that's that's a pretty big deal uh, improved blessing of might is pretty huge increases your dps and increases the dps of your party members uh 20 more attack power is awesome um benediction is good because it reduces the mana cost so it allows you to do dps for a longer period of time improved judgment is a direct dps increase because you're going to be judging off cooldown most of the time but not exactly uh, improved Seal of the Crusader is nice uh, for the improved judgment. You're not really going to use the seal very often. Conviction is a direct DPS increase for more crit strike. Seal of Command is the main command that you're going to the main seal that you're going to use. Um, you're going to use it 99% of your time. Pursuit of Justice doesn't actually increase your DPS directly, and I know you know some people might see Pursuit of Justice and think it's kind of weird, but by giving yourself a move speed talent. It allows you to get a damage enchant, like 7 agility or, or whatever agility enchant that you want to get to your boots uh, instead of having to get a move speed enchant because you're going to get to, you're going to need to, you're going to need move speed in any situation, not just PvP, uh, just getting to a yeah. target faster. Move speed. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, it, I mean, it helps in PvE, I mean, you get knocked back, you run back forward. It actually increases your PvE DPS, so. Yeah, no, definitely. Two-handed weapon spec, more damage. Sanctity aura, more damage. Vengeance, that's the key to your DPS. Vengeance is, is absolutely huge. 15% bonus damage uh, for eight seconds after you get a crit. Uh, again, a little bit more on that later. And then Repentance, you're going this far into the talent tree. It doesn't necessarily increase your DPS or anything. Um, but yeah repentance is uh i think you might as well get it because you know you can use it for a quick like clutch cc or something in a, in a dungeon or uh whatnot all right so the next thing we got to look at is what stats you're going to need as a retribution paladin you have to get eight percent hit and uh the precision will give you three of that you should always pretty much always get precision i don't unless you have insanely good hit gear and nothing else um what kind of stats are you going to want? You're going to want strength, attack power, crit chance, agility. Probably in that order because it takes 20 agility to make one crit. Let's talk well, about I, Int. I, yeah, need, I think it's um, good to mention Int and Stamina too. You do need Int. Some people kind of overdo it. The thing is, it's more about getting your mana up between each pool than how much mana you start with. So Int really isn't that important and there's other consumables you should be using and not intellect uh stamina and defensive stats oddly enough they're not totally worthless because sometimes you'll pull aggro and it's nice being a paladin where you don't get one shot okay another thing you got to consider is you have to use pretty much all the melee consumables and it's really expensive but you should actually use spell power consumables and probably not intellect you want more damage and you know use potions for your regen use runes and yes it's really uh, it becomes retardedly expensive you're yeah. gonna be broke or you're gonna be farming all the time another thing use goblin sappers let's say you're in molten core you're at the whelps you're consecrating for aoe damage go in your shield you can't die you can't wipe everyone use a sapper it's freaking amazing mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's, you know, speaking of combat and just, I guess that, that's just a few different things for like AoE, but uh, one of the big things, and this is going to be surprising to a lot of people, but uh, Judgment of the Crusader is not very good. Um, yeah, I know like, you know, over the course of, I mean, this has been what, almost 12, 13 years now that this game's been out and, you know, people always, you know, that, that was like a staple of a 
have a rep paladin. It's like you judge crusader and then you start fighting, at least as, as far as vanilla WoW goes. Um, but just something that we've kind of learned is that it's not really uh, that good at increasing your DPS just because the mobs die so fast on trash mobs. Uh, now that doesn't mean you shouldn't use it on bosses. On bosses it's great because it lasts Here, long let me enough. Jump in on that. Yeah. Hold on, let me jump in on that. Uh, Seal Command has a chance to proc Vengeance. Oh yeah. And that increases your DPS, where Crusader never can, so it's like, mm -hmm. huh. I mean, that on top of that, Crusader really is only for boss fights, but yeah, go ahead. No, yeah, exactly, and, and speaking of Vengeance, I mean, Vengeance is one of your keys to DPS, like I was saying uh, earlier whenever I was talking about specs. You know, 15% damage increase is, you know, nothing to laugh at. Um, and, you know, if you've got enough agility, if you've got enough crit chance, even using like a rank one seal of command or uh, anything, you know, it, it can it can proc vengeance and, you know, being able to kick off the fight with a 15% damage buff, I mean, that's huge. So, again, great for a boss fight, uh, but not so much for, for trash mobs. Another thing is, make sure you have both rank one and max rank for your seal of command and consecration on your hotbar. Mm -hmm. Like, if you're you're almost out of mana make sure to use um judgment seal command judgment rank one even just to try to get vengeance up like let's say you have almost no mana up and your vengeance is going to go down kind of pace it wait till instead of doing it as soon as possible wait till vengeance almost drops and judge and try to get another vengeance going I mean, if, if you have enough mana, you should be spamming max rank the whole time. Right, yeah. Um, you kind of have to use your judgment. Uh, you yeah. ultimately want to be spamming uh, judgment as high as you can all the time. Not so much consecration. Unless, of course, there's like a big mm -hmm. AoE pool. Right. Of course, you want max rank consecration. Yeah. And, you know, when you're doing all that, you're going to be spending a ton of mana. And, th and that's another thing. I, I think... A lot of times people will play other classes or whatever and um, they might not have to drink after every pull. The thing is with a rep paladin, you don't use mana like other classes use mana. Your your consecration, judging, changing seals, you're, you're blowing out mana as fast as possible. And for that reason, because you don't use mana like other classes, you don't necessarily drink like other classes either. Uh, and that means drinking after every pull right as soon as the pull's over. Like I mean, you got to... Yeah, pretty much like... Here. <laughs> yeah. You like... have to be drinking all the time, even yeah. if everyone else is, like, getting ready, standing around for the next pull. Yeah. Never stop drinking. Yeah. You're just wasting damage, and you're wasting a ton. Yeah. Sorry. I didn't... No, no, I mean, you're right. Like, it's, um, it's totally ridiculous just how much you, you have to drink. So uh, what about stuns? Oh, yeah, stuns. Uh, I mean... Yeah, yeah, go ahead, you go ahead. Um, so, you want to save your stun for when you're going to judge, because it does double damage, and that's that's huge. I mean, that's the difference between being middle of the pack or first place. Honestly, mm -hmm. it totally is. And, yeah, you can't always stun everything in a raid, but in pretty much any 5-man or 10-man, you can, and some raids, you can stun mobs and do double damage and that's huge and you got to watch out for other people in your party like you know don't stack stuns with a rogue try to space mm -hmm. it so let a rogue open with cheap shot that can literally be an extra thousand damage just mm -hmm. by doing that correctly mm -hmm. well and it goes back to what we were saying earlier about opening with a command judgment instead of a crusader judgment because let's say you got a rogue in your group and he opens yeah. the fight with the cheap shot and there you go thousand command crit you know, Crusader, you wasted, uh, yeah you crit that's a thousand damage you've wasted yeah good luck making that back in like the eight seconds the trash mob's gonna be alive yeah exactly um i don't know just just some more things to think about i guess uh people are gonna hate you <laughs> people are absolutely gonna hate you for playing a red paladin yeah it's it's ridiculous um i mean i don't know how many times like and you, you really have to just accept it. Like, yeah. even if you... I don't know how many times where I'm top DPS and the meter will be right there and it, it just doesn't matter. The, the stigma is so strong. 
the scripting is so bad on other servers. Yeah, that's a big part. That people of it. don't understand on Elysium, Red Paladins do literally like 15 to 20 percent more DPS. Mm -hmm. Like it's ridiculous how much more damage they do. Yeah. And it doesn't matter. All the evidence in the world, people will just freaking hate you. You're, you're garbage. They won't root with you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's no. bad. And part of the problem is Hol Holy is is amazing. Yeah, Holy's so, a great spec. Why? Why you know? You might ask yourself, why go Ret over Holy ever? Well, I mean, I mean it's just it's a video game. Like that's what yeah. you want to do. That, that and that's one of the things that like I, and I like people ask you like, why would you even play Ret? And it's like, okay, well, you realize like this is what why I want to do. Play? Yeah, why am I gonna play? Like, I, I wouldn't be playing this class if it wasn't what this class is. Or this um, game, maybe. Yeah, or this Like, I know for me, like, I, I don't really have another class that I really enjoy. If we ever played another class, it would be Moonkin, in which yeah. case we'd still be hating. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, I'm, I'm like, man, what is another class I really just want to play? I keep looking at the Moonkin, and it's like, oh, yeah. God. Yeah. More drama. I mean, and let's talk about, people don't want to sh share gear. Like... Yes. There's a stigma yes. because other servers are scripted badly, but part of it, people feed into the stigma because it's an excuse for them to not share any gear with you. Yeah. Like you'll go and, and you might have to, you might have to play politics, or you might just have to tell someone to shut up or whatever. Well, like I mean, the thing is, it, it's it's pretty ridiculous because people will, will they'll lie and they'll make up all this bull crap about whatever. At the end of the day, the big reason somebody might not want you to get gear is simply because they want to have it for themselves. Like a lot of times you'll you'll happen to see like, oh, hey, the guild leader just happens to be a warrior who wants all the two handed weapons and all the, the DPS gear for his warrior. officer. Like, yeah, I mean, the, the but if, you, is... if you were going purely PVE, it's, it's kind of funny you say that because like. If you were going purely PvE, there's literally nobody that needs two-hand weapons. It's yeah. all off-specs. I mean, Arm Warrior... Yeah. Uh, so, so so why not have a Rep Paladin? Who, I mean, he, he'll... You add an extra buff. You I mean, just having... I mean, even, even little stuff like, oh, I have an extra DI in the raid. Because people are like, okay, well, why don't you go Holy? It's like, well, Holy takes up a healer the spot. Buff is, the buff is the huge thing. If you mm -hmm. don't actually have a Paladin for each buff... Yeah, and you're turning down a Red Paladin. The difference between a Fury Warrior's DPS and everybody in the raid having Salvation. Mm -hmm. I mean, I just, I just one more buff. Any any other buff? I mean, I'm telling you, Red does more damage than anyone knows. Like, yeah, it's it's way it's way higher than what people think, and it we're not we're not necessarily saying it, that you're going to be number be one DPS beat, every no. time. Go go ahead. Yeah, sorry. you should be beat. By there's so few people trying yeah. to do it. There's not very. There's no one doing it well. Yeah. There was so like, there was Esotarius in Nax. That was like ten years ago. It was a video from ten years ago. Yeah. You should be on their heels. Yeah. The 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 point is the point is is that even even in 100% every single like player best gear best skill there's no variables and and Rhett's a little bit lower than like a rogue or a fury warrior or whatever that little bit of a decrease isn't going to stop your progression like if you if you can't if if 40 people that's undead. yeah the, and exactly exactly so i mean and, and Rhett so, gets a massive massive dps buff there um it actually scales pretty hard it might i honestly think it scales harder than rogue just rogue starts off so strong yeah well and, and more back. gear is released more gear is released as as the game went on uh through aq and, and bwl and uh basically just as they added more dungeons they added more stuff that fits rep paladins and you know we'll we'll get into that later on in another video we, but, we need uh, to, we need, we're carrying on too long we need to end this but i want to say one more thing uh this is more advice for uh elysium pve ret if you're playing on Kronos or Phoenix, how the coding is work changes it quite a bit. If you guys want, we can go over that another time. It's actually very different. You do less damage on those servers, mm -hmm. straight up. A lot less damage. But mm -hmm. I, I think that's it. Are we done? Yeah, I think we're good. So anyway, thanks for joining us, guys. Hope you guys got a lot out of this video. And 
uh, let us know, you know, give us any feedback in the comments. We read all the comments and, uh, and yeah, you know, hopefully we'll be making more of these videos in the future. Thanks.